man, you're crossing that finish line. You know that you're the guy. What's going through your head? Uh, keep turning the legs over. Uh, the last 10 kilometers was extremely uncomfortable. Had a lot of a lot of cramping, which is something I've never experienced before in running. Um, extremely exciting to cross the finish line. Uh, extremely relieving to stop moving as well. So, so. You're, this was your first marathon you ran, is that right? Did I hear that right? Yes, sir, that's correct. So give us your background. How did you get to this point? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I grew up in Auburn, Alabama. I've always I've been a runner my whole life. I, I started running when I was in the third grade. My babysitter took me to a 5K to wear me out, uh, and I just kind of got addicted there. So I uh, ran at Auburn High School in Auburn, Alabama. I came to Oklahoma in 2009 to run for the University of Oklahoma. Um, I finished up there in 2014, and, and uh, I'm a volunteer assistant coach uh, with the university now. So I work with the distance athletes um, under under Jason Dunn and Jim Van Ottegem, my two bosses and head coaches. Um, so just, just still running, uh, kind of addicted to it, love to run. So um, luckily we had a home meet this weekend, so I got to come out here on a Sunday and, and try my hand at the marathon. What made you decide this was going to be your first one? Yeah, um, well, I've been in Oklahoma you know, for seven years now, and, and I've just seen how awesome the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon is. Um, it's a really exciting event, and it's a really big deal around here. Um, I work at OK Runner, and it's a really big deal you know, to, to, my, to my owners and, and to my, my fellow employees. Uh, one, of my, one of my fellow employees, Scott Downer, won it last year, and to kind of see the response and, and see the excitement around him winning it just really inspired me to come out and give it a shot. Did you think you had a chance to win it all going in, being that it was your first one? Uh, yeah, you know, I was hoping to. Um, I was hoping to run a little bit quicker. Uh, my first half marathon was like, I think my first half was somewhere around 70 minutes and 40 seconds, uh, and then I slowed down a lot um, the second half unintentionally. But uh, that, you know, that's lesson learned there. Tough stuff. So, what was the most difficult part of the course today? When, when did you feel like you were at almost your breaking point? Yeah, um, when you turn on the lake Hefner around mile 14, there's a wind coming right off the lake that was extremely, extremely stiff. Um, so things started getting really uncomfortable there. You kind of come off the lake around mile 16, and, and I thought I started to kind of regather everything, and I was good for a couple more miles, and then uh, and then the legs just started tying up. So. What role did all the fans play in terms of people cheering you on? Oh, man. Was that motivation? Fantastic. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. That's you know, the, the crowd support out here is, is unlike anything I've ever experienced um, throughout the entire course, the whole 26.2. I think other than Lake Hefner, I don't recall there it being silent anywhere. Yeah. Um, so the last 10 kilometers, I started cramping up a lot. I had to. Unfortunately, I had to stop and stretch like seven or eight times, which is something I've never had to do before. Um, and uh, you know, when that was happening, uh, I had a lot, of, a lot of support. I had half marathoners coming over and helping me stretch out. I had a guy, some somebody started started banging out my hamstring when it knotted up. Um, around mile 23, my, my hamstring really, really locked up, and I had to stop for a couple minutes. Um, somebody from the half marathon course ran over with with BioFreeze and just started rubbing my legs down. And you know, I've never, I've never seen support like that. Um, but that's what the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon is known for. It's, it's known for the crowd support. Everyone out here is running for a tremendous cause to honor those that, that perished in 95. And it's a tremendous experience, tremendous crowd support. First one today. We're going to be back back next year, try to defend that title? Yeah, we'll see. You know, I'm I, uh, hoping to land a, a full-time coaching position, and that may take me elsewhere. But, uh, but, man, I'll definitely try to make it back. I love it out here.